we just hired a new farmhand, Scott Flick, and his first day is the day we're leaving for the Archery Trade Association. It's a little nerve wracking. Well, it's a lot nerve wracking because you know, we haven't had time to really train him well. Yep, uh, spotted a doe in 10 2. She was holding her foot up. I've got to call Nate, and he's going to meet his farm replacement for the first time. Let's head over there. I'll show you how we load up darts and everything we need to take out with us. This is Doug Roberts. He's raised some of the largest typical whitetails in North America. With his wife, Karen Roberts, CEO of Conquest Scents, they manufacture and produce the best hunting scents in the world. From a family deer farm to the leading scent company in the hunting industry, world-class whitetail genetics, and God by their side, this is Conquest 200. Conquest 200 is brought to you by Key Apparel, makers of Polar King. Rule the elements. There was a night in there somewhere. <laughs> There was a night somewhere in there. Somewhere. Yes, you look nice. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you thanking you again this morning for a, a busy morning, but a wonderful morning. We ask that you be with us as we go through this day, that you may bless the work that we do and the words that we say. Be with the animals on this farm and the workers here today, that they may accomplish the goals that you have given us. And may we remember that everything comes from you, and we thank you for that. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day. Good luck. We have been tremendously blessed by God. When you think that it started in our basement, filling one bottle at a time with syringes to where we are today, and the hunters coming to us and requesting and telling us it's just the best product we've ever used, that's rewarding, it's very humbling, but all the glory goes to God. I mean, it's our hard work, but he has directed us for 12 straight years in where we need to go and what we need to do, and it's trusting him. Any type of farming is a lifestyle. Raising whitetails is no different. Each and every new season brings new responsibilities, new challenges, Although the whitetail hunting season is limited to a few months per year, the planning and preparation required to keep shelves stocked with the nation's leading whitetail scents requires Doug and Karen Roberts to always stay one step ahead. Once the selling season ends, we go right into travel season. It's time to get on the road. This is what we do to start the next selling season, actually. And ATA is the first show. This year it's in Louisville, Kentucky, and on we go. Projecting incoming sales, keeping up with orders, collecting and manufacturing inventory, and attending annual sports shows are just a few of the tasks on the to-do list after hunting season has come and gone. Well, heading to the ATA, uh, Karen and I are a little bit nervous because we just hired a new farmhand, Scott Flick, and his first day is the day we're leaving for the Archery Trade Association. You've run machinery before? Yes, sir. We've brought him up to speed on some of the basic things of perimeter checks and, and waters and feed, but he really has not learned how to look at the deer and what to look for. And we're in the wintertime. We gotta make sure this is on. And if it gets super cold, you just turn it up onto one or whatever, and it'll keep it warm. But the generator to run this. A registered nurse, Nate has been offered a full-time position working at the hospital. Although Scott doesn't have much experience in farming, his positive attitude and ability to learn quickly has been a tremendous asset. These three things are the most important on the farm. The fence check, the perimeter fence, water and feed, and then check the runway so make sure there aren't any animals in there, there aren't any problems with that. And you can do that when you do the waters, you can check the runways. Okay, right. I told them, I'm only a phone call or a text away. You know, so if you have a question or have a problem, call me, text me, 
I'll answer or I'll get right back to you. If you ever wonder what's in the bins, all you have to do is come in here and look up here. I've never been on a deer farm before. I've never even actually seen one. So it was a great experience just to come out and have Doug show me around the farm even before I was hired. Over here, um, the Revive microbials that we feed in the water every four days. My parents had horses when we were young, so we had some farming experience. But to come out and get on a deer farm, a totally different world. For today, what we got is we're gonna be doing 600 sticks of antler. Antler pour, so is that something? The, to... That's a, a private label we do for Jeremy Moore. He's a dog trainer. Okay. One of the best in the country, actually. And, uh, we actually take his scent and put it into our stick formula. Um, and then we got bird scent, uh, bird down scent we need to pour today to uh, rabbit, raccoon, and small danger zone. This segment was brought to you by New Dart, because you can't afford to miss. Conquest 200 is brought to you by Key Apparel, makers of Polar King. Rule the elements. By Conquest Sense, makers of Evercom and VS1. By Nadifa and Armada Grain Company. By Revive Microbials and by Dunkel Veterinarian Service. Doug and Karen Roberts are at the annual ATA show in Louisville, Kentucky. With the boom in sales last year, the Conquest team has decided to bring some extra hands to handle the booth. We're anticipating an extremely busy show and, and a large increase in orders and sales there, so we've actually doubled our booth space. Uh, Talon is going along with us as an extra person that can give us, Karen and I, some time to get our meetings hey, done. How you doing? Good, Doug, how are you? Good, finally got a chance to get out of the booth and <laughs> come to the Grizzly Cooler booth. What do you have new this year? New 2016, we've got this red color right here. Uh, okay. We're really excited about. Um, well, we're here in Louisville, Kentucky for the 2016 Archery Trade Association Convention. It's extremely busy. It's uh, been a great show so far. Louisville's been great. The show has really increased in size, and uh, we've had a lot of new stores and a lot of new buyers come in and uh, at least investigate the scent line that we have, Conquest Scents. Attending sports shows not only allows Doug and Karen the opportunity to spend time with the hunters using their product. <laughs> you are blessed. I am definitely blessed. But also to mingle with industry leaders about problems facing their industry. You know, while at the ATA, I have, a, I have a number of different meetings that I need to go to. One of them is meeting with Nick, the new CEO of National Deer Alliance. Uh, I'm going to have a chance to talk with him and kind of see what direction he's going to take the NDA and how does that fit in and work with uh, the deer farming industry. I've seen enough in the field over the years. Um, to, to, I mean, I've, I've seen deer that I know I would, not, I would not have seen had I not had a scent product out there. And, and a lot of times, I think people have a misconception about how scent should work. Like they think you should be able to draw a deer in from 400 yards. And I tell people, listen, especially with archery, it's a game of a few feet. One of the really cool things that happened right away, even before ATA show started, was I had a chance to meet with a lot of the deer scent manufacturing companies. And for me, that was really cool for a number of reasons. One, first of all, to meet some people that we'll be working with for sure, but also I used to own a deer scent company. So I really understand a lot of the things that those folks go through and, and I understand that business a little bit. But it was really important also because it allowed me to, I think, uh, dispel some of the misconceptions about what NDA would be about. Um, we're not about trying to regulate industry. I mean, we're, we're about deer and deer hunters and we're also about the hunting industry and the deer hunting industry. It's about education, it'll take time, and um, the, the do-nothing alternative, though, doesn't work. So we gotta work together and do something to figure it out. His entire goal, from what he's telling me, is that he wants to try to unite and bring all the deer farming uh, categories, the hunting industry, the DNR directors, the deer farming industry, together to collectively work on the problems that we see 
with the white-tailed deer. And that comes with habitat, that comes with disease issues. From what I've heard, I'm kind of excited now to work with him and NDA and bring these two groups together that we can become more efficient in solving the problems that we all see with the white-tailed deer. Doug receives a call from Scott. There's a situation on the farm. You said you saw a doe and I think it was pen two limping with a red foot. What what are you seeing? Yep, I uh, spotted a doe in pen two. She was holding her foot up. And when I started glassing at her, I noticed that uh, she wasn't putting any pressure on it. And it was all red and, and looked like it was swollen up on her. Well, as Scott's describing the problem that he's seen, you know, you have to realize Scott's never even seen a dart gun yet. We haven't got him up to speed. This, he's only been at the job two days and now he sees this injured deer. Okay, and is it in the swelling in the ankle or up on the lower part of the leg, the knee? I'm understanding that this is something needs to be done, but it's beyond his capabilities. So I told him, I'm gonna call Nate, see if he can come back to the farm at this point doesn't even know how to use a dart gun or any of the medications so and and Nate is now working part-time for us because he's at the hospital and thank heavens Nate says yeah no problem as soon as I get out of work I'll head over to farm what's up you must be Scott yes sir Nate nice yes, to meet you this segment was brought to you by Henchard Chiropractic we get your back in the game this week's tip from the dear professor is brought to you by High Rack Ranch of Michigan I'm gonna talk a little bit about two types of hunting, fair chase and private ranch hunting. That's a hot topic. You have people that are very much against private ranch hunting. And some of those are very founded reasons if you look in the past. In the past, the industry didn't know how to build private ranches and they were technically, a lot of them canned hunts. Too many deer for the amount of area so the choice was immense. I would encourage each hunter, whether you're for or against it, I'm not asking you to hunt them. I'm asking you to take a look at the newer ranches that are being built. The three main components that they build them off is, is acreage, habitat density, which is a big one, and then deer density for that habitat. If you really are wondering about what they look like, go take a tour and enjoy a day out in the outdoors. Doug and Karen Roberts are away from the farm at the annual ATA show. With so much to do on the farm, Doug has hired new help. Scott is coming on board and gonna be a full-time employee of handling and working with the farm with Talon. But the problem is he starts the first of the year, really the third, and Karen and I and Talon are all at the ATA show. We leave the second. Over that later. That's always Nate has taken a full-time position as a nurse. I um, talked to Doug the week prior and said that I would be coming in, working the farm, and they would be leaving, so I'd be here all on my own. To try and come into a new job and have no one here was, yeah, it was a little stir-crazy to say the least. Even in the cold, it's fun. Come out here and see all the fresh snow, all the deer. I'll take care of the water, make sure they stay healthy. But getting here, um, I knew the responsibilities, I knew what I had to do, and I felt confident in doing that. It's just you never know what to expect dealing with a wild animal, what could go wrong. We're on the road, leaving behind a new staff member. So it's a little nerve wracking. You know, it's a lot nerve wracking because you know, we haven't had time to really train him well. Being new, I didn't want anything to happen while they were gone. As it would play out, I happened to look over and I noticed one of the does was just limping, wasn't walking right. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call Nate and see if he can come over 
and help you dart her and medicate her and see what's going on with that foot because we still have a couple days here. What's up? You must be Scott. Yes, sir. Nate. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. So what do we got going on, Doug? So we got a doe we have to dart? Yeah, we got a doe out there where it looks like a bad foot. A little red. It's interesting to me because I've got to call Nate and he's going to meet his farm replacement for the first time with a problem with a deer. And so I'm hoping that it goes well between the two of them because they're going to be working together periodically uh, as we move forward. Okay, so let's head over there. I'll show you how we load up darts and everything we need to take out with us. Nate taking on full position as a as a nurse at the hospital, he's still connected to us, so we do know that if something happens, Nate will get here, and no doubt. But there's a lot of things on our mind. Sitting down and meeting with the buyers to the top stores, I am then informed of the projection of sales. This is what we always do. We we talk over if there's any problems or any issues or a new product, which is our Evercom package this year. What we have new this year for 2016 at the ATA show in Louisville, Kentucky is the Evercom package. We actually took all the different ways to use Evercom and we put it in one package together. It offers the savings and it offers the hunter a way to come in the store, grab everything in one package and be able to use Evercom in the stink stick form and in the stick formula as well. When we're at the trade shows, this allows us to connect with the hunters face to face. It's amazing to be able to hear the stories and get to meet everyday guys that are out there in the field hunting and using the product. This is such a reward for me. Oh my gosh. A gentleman named Mark Hammer comes up and introduces himself to me. He shot the largest buck in the U.S using Evercom. Uh, what makes this unique for us is that it was actually, I think, your first time ever using Evercom with VS1. Yep. yep. Um, and your buddies it certainly won't be my last time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But your buddies actually told you about it, and they kept saying, you got to use it, you got to use it. So he uses it. I've been real skeptical about sense. I've always had bad luck and bad situations, and they talked me into getting some. And, I don't think they're going to have to talk me into buying some next year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am. I have a lot more hunting buddies all of a sudden. Quickly. This segment is brought to you by Beam Fence Company. Conquest 200 is brought to you by Kia Apparel, makers of Polar King. Rule the elements. By Conquest Sense, makers of Evercom and VS1. By United Deer Farmers of Michigan by Vortex Optics and Grizzly Coolers. Here we go. That one? Yep. She's doing good. Yeah, she's actually moving pretty good. We got her medicated. I, you know how quick they plug up in the wild, so. Yeah, so we're uh, through top. Very All right, we're here at the 2016 ATA show. It's been busier than ever picked up a bunch of new stores, met a lot of new people. Who have you met? I've met everybody. <laughs> I have met everybody. Uh, Craig Morgan, Ava Shockey. Uh, it's just been crazy. It's good to meet these people too because you get your name out there, you, you market a little bit. Last year's sales of Conquest Sense were above and beyond anything Doug and Karen could have anticipated. Get your order in for VS1 ahead of time. You're talking about real deer scent from real deer farmers. We have X amount of deer, we're gonna get X amount of urine. When it's gone, it's gone. Well, for the last couple of years, the Archery Trade Association and the scent collectors and scent manufacturers have been working on a new set of standards for collecting urine and knowing that they're disease free. The group has come up with a new seal of approval that we can put on our packages and it will look like this. What you're gonna see is the, the scent companies, which Conquest Sense is included in, is you will see a round circle that has an ATA with a check mark. That's the seal that tells every hunter that we're in that program and that we have collected all of our urines under the strict standards by which that organization was set. Packing up, heading home, it's time to go home. And then on the road again in a week for SHOT Show. ATA's over, great 2016 year, packing it up, moving out of the show, 
I couldn't be happier with the reception of the Evercom package. Everybody's on board with it. The orders are already placed for it. Not to mention the projection growth. So when Doug and I get back home, between trade shows, we've got to sit down and map out how are we going to accommodate this growth. Need to go see Hensherix when you get home? Yeah, I think I just kind of got told I got to go see Hensherix Chiropractic when I get home. The ATA show has been a tremendous show. It's been extremely busy and we knew we were going to have growth, but it kind of gave us a gauge on just the growth that we're going to see in 2016. But now we've got to get back. Karen and I have got to get back and we have to take a look at the changes we're going to have to make on the farm in order to keep up with that growth. We grew so much last year and now we're projected to grow that much again. There's going to have to be major adjustments in the manufacturing building as well as on the farm to accommodate such growth. It's so exciting, it's so exciting, and yet I'm freaking out. It's a blessing, it's a blessing. I, I definitely, our, our nets are full and bursting. For Doug and Karen Roberts, the blessings are abundant. And although they may feel overwhelmed at their responsibilities over the next year, they rest assured knowing that nothing will be given which cannot be handled. Their increased success and the success of their company brings comfort, knowing that God is in control and his plan for their future is reward for their faithfulness through all of the tough times. <laughs>